Professor Klafter, President of Tel Aviv University, colleagues and friends. I'm glad to open this symposium honoring the laureates of the Dan David Prize in Nanotechnology, the magic of small things. Uh, the symposium consists of three sessions. Each starts with a presentation of one of the prize laureate, and then followed by two presentations of Tel Aviv uh, University scientists doing nanotechnology. Also, you can find at the lobby some, um, uh, some posters which represent nanotechnology research in Tel Aviv University. I hope you'll all enjoy the symposium and again, congratulations to the prize laureates. Uh, we'll start with a greeting of Professor Josef Klatter, please. Good morning to everyone, and uh, I'm very glad that uh, you are here. I would like to welcome our three laureates and uh, uh, thank them for coming to Israel. Uh, as we know, uh, this is uh, uh, by itself a statement. Thank you very much. And uh, I would like to say that uh, nanoscience and nanotechnology are two small words, but they are, cover really a very broad uh, uh, interdisciplinary uh, uh, I would say, idea behind them, and it fits very well to uh, our university, like in many other universities, they are very, very comprehensive. And Tel Aviv University, uh, on its side, took uh, actually a strategic decision over a decade, ago, a decade ago to really invest in nanoscience and nanotechnology by uh, establishing uh, a center that exists uh, uh, today, and uh, was headed, among others, by Orich Shnovsky and now by Yael uh, Hanin. But also the state of Israel took a decision over well over uh, uh, a decade ago to invest in nanoscience and nanotechnology and establish the initiative for nanotechnology. And one of the movers there and uh, the driving process was Joshua Jortner, who is here and unfortunately, uh, I think, could not be here. So uh, altogether, I think that over this uh, time, uh, the investment in this area, which means uh, recruiting uh, new faculty members and equipment, I think we made a very, very, a very large step and even leaps uh, from time to time because, you know, uh, the difference among the different centers for nanotechnology is really, uh, except for the brain power, is really uh, the, the resources. And from this point of view, uh, uh, I'm very happy where, where, where how we moved. Uh, now, uh, I, I would say that I would be very happy if this, I call it the magic of uh, small things. Yes, the magic should be that small things should not be that expensive. But, uh, you know, this, uh, this is a fact of life. Nevertheless, in the, uh, I think within three years, we'll have a new facility which will be the new nano building, which although it's called nano building, is one of the more expensive buildings we'll have on campus, but I think uh, it will really host at least part or large part of the scientists that are dealing with the nano related uh, 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 research. And uh, this will be really n not only more uh, convenient, but I think will give a push to the whole, uh, to the whole activity. Uh, in parallel, there are other things that really uh, we do which are related. We just inaugurated last week the Blavatnik uh, Center for Drug Delivery and Drug uh, uh, Discovery, which is by itself, uh, uh, I would say, an expensive and nice facility uh, that uh, deals with uh, nano, nanomedicine. Yes, so we in chemistry used to argue that who needed the word nanotechnology, chemistry by itself is, is nano. But you know, uh, uh, if you can raise funding by a new concept, I mean, this is... Uh, Yes. So uh, I would say that we are in the right way. And uh, all I have to say that last evening uh, the ceremony ended with nano dance. And uh, today, I guess, a nano choir. We have the three tenors. Yes, Paul and Chad and John. And I hope that the choir around them will be uh, applauding and uh, I would say also taking uh, participate. So enjoy and thank you very much. <laughs> 